Does your vehicle have a halogen headlight bulbs like this? And you're interested in uh, replacing them with uh, the newer LED headlight bulbs? Well, that's what this video is about, is what you should look for in an LED headlight bulb for your vehicle, what to consider and why, and what to avoid. That's what this video is about. So, keep on watching. Okay, LED headlight bulbs are equally as bright as a halogen bulb. That's the low beams, the high beams, and the light turns on and off instantly. As a result, you can uh, send Morse code messages with your high beams. SOS, S, O, S. Okay, next, with the uh, hood up, I'm going to show how you access your headlight bulbs. They're on the back of the reflector. This is the bulb. This is the uh, bulb right here. Get okay, it right here. Okay, next, we have to unplug the uh, power supply uh, uh, plug. It has a part on. You have to squeeze on it to release it. And with that off, the, this uh, lock ring next. This lock ring comes off. It turns off about a quarter turn counterclockwise comes off and with this off you can pull the bulb out and to reinsert the bulb the bulb will have uh, splines on where it inserts into the reflector you have to uh, line up those uh, splines until it inserts back in just like that the lock ring goes back on Turn until it starts to engage in, and then turn it a quarter turn, it's on. And then you will reinsert the uh, power supply plug and until it uh, snaps back into place. Just that simple. Okay. okay. Another benefit of these LED headlight bulbs is they have a very long life expectancy, about 50,000 hours. Very likely that will outlast your vehicle and they draw less power. That would mean less drain on your battery in case you leave your lights on. LED headlight bulbs may not be available at your local uh, uh, auto parts stores, but however, they're readily available on, uh, online, both Amazon and eBay. Here I am looking at on eBay. I've entered the search words uh, 9007 LED headlight bulbs. That's a size used by my Nissan Frontier. And if you uh, scroll down the list, You'll see so many of these uh, headlight bulbs will have what, what you see is a, uh, a heat radiator, which is similar to this model here. It has a heat radiator with a, uh, a cooling fan on the back. And the socket is uh, remote from the uh, bulb with a cable in between. And these you do want, you want to avoid. As you can see, as I keep scrolling, you'll see so many like this. They have the same heat radiator on the back of it. And you'll, you'll see what... You'll see uh, some like this, which I, I use and recommend, with a socket directly on the back of the bulb, just like the back, just like the uh, socket on the back of a uh, halogen bulb. Next, I'm going to explain what's wrong with these uh, heat radiator LED bulbs and why you should avoid them. This type of uh, headlight bulb, which I do not recommend, will still mount into your reflector, just like a uh, any uh, headlight bulb will. But here's a problem. You put that lock ring on, it's not even going around the socket, you just can't get it on there. And the hole in the, in the uh, lock ring is too small for the uh, heat radiator. So how are you going to get this on? How are you going to mount it? You just can't. You know, I had to, I installed a pair like this on my old Ford Ranger. And to mount them on, I had to glue them on using flex glue, which is a very unusual way to mount them. However, flex glue is a flexible rubber-like glue. You can... You can cut it loose with a knife if you have to remove the bulb, but that's just not the way to install headlight bulbs, you know. That's obvious that you should not. So that's why you want to always rec go with these with the uh, aluminum body. The, the aluminum body absorbs the heat from the bulb, and it has the uh, socket on the back, just like the socket on a uh, halogen bulb. And there you have no problems getting that lock ring around it. Just that simple. You always want to go with these. And I'll show some examples next on eBay 
what's available in this, in this size bulb. Okay, scrolling down the list on eBay, you'll see a pair, you'll see pairs of bulbs which I recommend and, and have the same you know, aluminum body and socket on the back, just like the one I use. This is a uh, Aux Beam brand for $36.99, free shipping. Scroll down further, there's another model, uh, which, uh, which is also uh, acceptable. We have passed it. Yeah, there's a, uh, another model, it's called a Last Fit. Yeah, there it is. Last fits. That same brand as this. The model I have here is a, is a Oxito brand. And so any of these three models, if you find them, will work. And you shouldn't have any problems mounting these into your uh, bulb reflector and getting that lock ring around it. So that's something what I should re always recommend when it comes to replacing your halogen bulbs with LED bulbs. Always go with this. And these, of course, Avoid them. They should be, as far as I'm concerned, they should be taken off the market. So, well, anyway, I hope you found this uh, video very interesting and watching and very helpful. And uh, thanks for watching.